Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with a scalding hot take on the latest desperate rift from the one and only Meghan Markle. A woman so starved for relevance and attention that she'd willingly debase herself by exploiting her own marriage for pertinent media fodder. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, I know, I know, at this point hyping up Megan's endless stream of narcissistic lows and self-serving humiliations is getting as stale as her acting chops. But even by her own subterranean standards of decency, greenlighting this tacky cash grab ploy to whore out private martial details for the sake of resurrecting her Z-list cable drama really does plumb new depths. Although if I'm being fully honest, were any of us truly surprised when reports started tickling about Princess Pinocchio making overtures to her former Suits co-stars about inserting some cringeworthy, ripped from the headlines plotlines into that LA spinoff nobody asked for? This is the same ravenous ego monster who spent the last two weeks desperately shilling jars of jam and dog treats to influencers, hoping for a few scraps of clout that might rub off. Frankly, at the rate the greasy hustler keeps flailing, I fully expect an announcement any day now that she'll be realizing a Sizzler-branded archetypes of the 3.30 p.m. early bird crowd to accompany her next failed business venture. Not even the dankest corners of daytime TV will go unexploited in her quest for relevance and renewments. But back to this latest tawdry debacle of the Duchess basically agreeing to put her marriage on the writer's room chopping block for a few extra seconds of airtime. Let's start with the details being teased by her former co and on-screen baby daddy, Patrick J. Adams, proudly proclaiming on the Globe's red carpet that if the call came in to suit up again, he'd be ready to go full hosebrow pimp mode and drag the Sussex Royals through the melodrama mulcher once more. She's pretty popular right now, he quipped with a devilish grin, dropping not-so-subtle hints about a potential Mike and Rachel in Seattle, arc that would no doubt give the writers free reign to absolutely dunk on Meghan's tattered reputation and sham royal departure for max cringe value. It's shameless and undignified to the point of self-parody. And considering this is an actress who used to routinely and revoltingly shame actresses for putting tawdry clickbait about their personal lives ahead of feminism and dignity, it's made all the more acidic to watch her now literally pimping out her privacy for the same seedy thirst bait. No wonder even her few remaining stands opted to log off this weekend rather than attempt justifying this latest bout of hypocrisy. But say what you want about the ghastly optics and total dearth of self-respect required to embark on this cringe crusade. At the very least, the attention whore seemed to get what she was angling for. Just look at her old suits pal, Wendell Pierce, the same guy who played her on-screen dad back in the day, effusively gushing over Prince Petulance and the runaway Duchess for attention's sake. During a recent chat on the Tony's red carpet, Pierce, a respected veteran actor whose name isn't ringing any bells here because he actually has an identity outside the Markle sphere, couldn't resist getting in his royal name drop by discussing the most banal meetup with Harry and Meghan imaginable. When Meghan came into town, she got an award last year, had a chance to say hello and wish her and Prince Harry well, and wish the children well, the star thirstily relates, no doubt hoping the timely name checking might earn him a guest spot in that rumored Suits spinoff. They look very much in love and we're very happy, so that's the most important thing. Oh, how sweet. Two emotionally stable individuals who totally didn't just humiliate themselves and the father of the groom on national TV, looking very much in love. I'm sure the millions watching Meghan's lies get exposed in real time during that car crash Oprah interview would beg to differ, but please, go on about how healthy their dynamic seems from the outside. And naturally, no sus promoting interview from a former co-star would be complete without some ghibli insincere praise for how hard the Duchess totally worked on her measly seven-year cable actressing stint, as evidenced by Pierce's cloying follow-up about their fond memories of working together. Right, because achieving moderate success on a low-rated USA procedural is totally an inspirational grind to be lauded in the same breath as actual milestone careers. Even Tatiana Manalzane is embarrassed by that one. But of course, the most painful delusion on display throughout this whole sword saga is the glaringly desperate notion that anyone, 
be it the general public, Hollywood, or even Meghan's own former co-workers, is actively clamoring to see more insights into the royal sham's marriage and irredeemably fractured rift within the firm. Wendell's comments about the resurgence of Suit's popularity alone are enough proof that this facade is just that, a sad, flimsy defense mechanism for a deluded D-lister. Because let's be blunt, the idea that audiences beyond a handful of sugars and hate viewers would tune in for a thinly veiled dramatization of Meghan's sham royal exit and subsequent victimhood peddling is so utterly laughable it beggars belief. This is the same walking PR hazard who spent the better part of two years getting savagely mocked by some of the most iconic satirists on the entire planet throughout 2023. From the South Park massacre to the Oscar night roast by Jimmy Kimmel and Her Majesty Queen Royla Davis. You really expect anyone to willingly subject themselves to more of the same Malden horse crap that broke Hollywood's tolerance over a year ago? At this stage, Harry and Meghan's constant nauseating, oversharing about their deeply skewed perspective on royal life has become such a toxic punchline that even the thirstiest of aspiring Bravo housewives would opt out of boasting their shameless narrative any further. It's D-list poison and anyone with their ears still vaguely tuned to public opinion knows it. Especially when the only people seemingly interested in keeping Meghan's messy martial melodrama afloat seem to be the same slimy TV exes and PR parasites looking to ride her coattails for clout. The very grifters who will gleefully toss her into traffic the second her name stops shifting numbers. Was it really an accident that the first leak about this suit spin-off resurrection was conveniently amplified by Deadline? The trade rag that's been cheerleading her spiral into irrelevance for years. And look, if we're being fully objective and not piling on, even the Duchess's most devoted cultists would have to admit this thing reads more like a cynical play for attention than a concerted stab at an artistic realism or a truthful storytelling. I mean, really, having some hack writer create a discount Mike and Rachel dialed up to cringe and slap on some dime store Seattle ambiance is about as subtle a recreation of real human experience as Showgirls is to the world of Vegas exotic dance clubs. It's phantom mind fiction being leaned on as desperate lifelines to stay in the conversation, an attempt to keep the last remnants of Meghan's prior fame from fully eroding into history's dustbins without the oxygen of media controversy breathing semi-life into her nostrils. The entire premise teeters right on the edge of outright parody in the vein of reality TV impresarios, like the self-parodying Kardashians. So what do you guys think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news on the royal family. Bye for now.